start clapping right now for the very funny Jay Smitty! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it is I. Yes, yes. I was on television. Yes. <laughs> now I'm in some kind of alcoholic bomb shelter in New York somewhere. So, uh, life comes at you quickly. My, my career is not doing well. Not, not doing well at all. Not at all. Oh, what's that? I like performing for these nice little uh, UN meetings. You guys are cool. Uh, the whole world is here. I recently moved to New York, man, and it's, uh, I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's fucking tough. It's fucking tough out here. Alicia Keys said I could make it out here, and uh, that bitch was lying like a motherfucker. That was not concrete jungle where dreams are made of. At what cost? Right? It is tough. It is tough. It is tough. Thank you, Dad. It's true. Thank you, Father. Uh, you scored my dreams. I don't know, man. It's good to be here because I used to be from Boston, and you don't want to go there at all. You don't want to go. Boston is like the most like woke, racist place of all time, right? And the spectrum is fucking crazy out there, right? It's crazy, man. You go to a bar and have a sign that says, like, Black Lives Matter, and you show up and like, wait, you're black? Like, uh, could you not be? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> not feeling it, man. No, no. I'm just glad I survived Halloween. You guys survived Halloween? You guys got out of Halloween? Oh, man, I, I don't do Halloween. I, I can't do it. Holidays in general, I can't do it. I realize, like, Halloween is, we gotta agree, Halloween is kind of for white people, right? Can we agree? Like, we'll take Black History Month, MLK Day, Halloween, y'all can have it, right? It's like, think of trick or treat. That just gives off Caucasian energy, right? <laughs> trick or treat, it's like, right? Right? On one hand, I'm gonna scam you. On the other hand, I just want a gift just for showing up. Like, it's a very white thing. It's very, extremely white. Very fucking holiday. I just say the fuck inside. I say the fuck inside. <laughs> also, I realized about holidays too is just like no one really cares about the holiday. It's all about the fucking money, right? We don't care about holidays. It's all about capitalism. We care about the fucking money, right? Like this year, I saw the most like fucked up Easter commercial. Toyota had the most fucked up commercials. It was awful, right? Like it started out with like a view of the clouds. The clouds are slowly breaking. And the sun spoke out of the clouds. And then out of nowhere, this loud, ominous voice just says, He has risen. But you know what has risen? Our prices. Come on down to you. What would Jesus do? He hop in this fully loaded Camry. It's like, he's a carpenter. He can't drive that shit off a lot. Come on. <laughs> you don't know Jesus' credit score. That dude's broke as fuck, right? The man wears samples every day. Come on. Down. He only has 12 friends, like 11 might co-sign that shit, right? The worst part, the last part of the, about the commercial, that was the worst part of the commercial. Like the car dealer, he came out, he was holding two crosses. He's like, guys, these cars are just flying off the lot. We might just have to nail them down. Go ahead and nail them down. <laughs> Woo! Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Yeah, all my God is what I said too. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> Fucking capital. But no, it's good to be out here just doing shows in general. Like, uh, you guys have a good pandy? Everybody a good pandy? You got a good pandy? I'm making a good one. The fuck pandy? Is it a good pandy? I had a rough pandy. It was not. A, it was not a good pandy. We had to do shows outside, like street performers. It was not. It was. It was really fucking rough. I was doing shows uh, out in like Harvard Square back home, and I gotta tell you guys, those these Harvard kids, a little too liberal. Little, you can't pronoun your way to happiness. It's not going to work out, right? They're very triggered people. Just so you guys know, I'm all, be whoever you want to be. I don't care. I support everybody. Just so you know, my preferred pronouns are uh, nigga white, nigga who. And uh, all about it. All about equality. All about it. But people are triggered these days. People are really fucking triggered. We were doing this show outside, and this girl from Harvard, this little white girl, she was very triggered. Very true. Every 10 minutes, something fucked up. She had to complain about, right? I don't know where she just burst out. You can't say gypsy anymore. You can't call people gypsies anymore. It's offensive. Like, what do I call this person? Magically Italian? You just said. I'm not gonna joke to you, you think you're so. What do you want me to call them, right? 10 minutes later, another issue. She's like, 
You can't say homeless anymore. You can't call people homeless anymore. It's offensive. What do I call this dude? Residentially challenged? <laughs> Standing in the house right now, guys. It's very challenged. Very tough. At one point, I was like, look, miss, hold on. You're very tricky right now. What, what's your, your major here? Right? She was like, I'm a sociology major. I was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you know what I said there? You know, I said back there, I said, you can't say sociology major anymore. You can't call people sociology majors anymore. It's offensive. They prefer the term future baristas. So, I'm just saying, man. Go to class, read a book. Most importantly, just shut the fuck up. It's going to be okay. Dude, I love your comedy show posture. Just arms crossed. This better be fucking good. Now this is, I'm ready to laugh, just like judgy shoulders. Just, I'm ready to go. Fucking Monday night, let's get it. Uh, you guys just came to do cocaine, let's be honest. Uh, I appreciate your support, Art, though. This is, this is not the best place to do it, but I'm glad y'all are here. I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a better black dude, but like, I'm a millennial, so like, Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, right? Any millennials here? We're garbage. No, no, no. no. We're, we're garbage people. We're not good people, right? We're like hefty bags with arms and legs. We're not good people. Right? We're trash people, is what we real. Because the problem with us is, the problem with millennials is like, other generations did important shit. Like, we've given nothing to society, right? It's just like Twitter, Twitter TikTok, and emails. So that's all we've given to society. We're not good people, right? The so other generations, they had to do real things. But for us, it was more of like, we never had to care about anything. So we pretend to care about everything. <laughs> and we don't give a fuck about anything. At all, right? We just want to blow up on the ground. Let's be real, right? Yeah. We just want to trend, be popular. That's all we want to do, right? Like, like, you don't want to save turtles from straws, but you want a picture of yourself saving that fucking turtle, right? The picture is way more important than that fucking turtle, right? You care more about Ninja Turtles than that turtle. Let's be real, right? 100%, right? 100%, right? Well, who was it a few years back? Uh, was it that uh, Kendall Jenner? She had that social justice Pepsi commercial. Exactly. Like, that could only happen now, right? That's the most millennial shit of all time. You couldn't do that back in the day. Like you couldn't, you couldn't support Martin Luther King in 1963 if he was like selling merch, <laughs> right? It'd be, it'd be hard to support that dream, right? You would be, you'd be conflicted. <laughs> about that dream, right? It's like, remember, it's like 1963, he's at the Capitol building, he's just like, brothers and sisters, I have something to say. Brothers and sisters, I want my children to be judged by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Brothers and sisters, we are thirsty for justice. And Pepsi's on sale for 29 this weekend. <laughs> 29 to goddamn deal. I bet I get you motherfuckers drinking Coke. <laughs> I get this Pepsi one. I don't know, man. It's kind of stupid. I also, too, is the thing where, like, I think I gotta get better friends. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, like, update my roster. I gotta get better friends. Probably. Like, some of you guys gotta do it, too. Like, you sit with them right now, you can't say shit. I get it. <laughs> right? Like, I got this one friend, like, he doesn't have. I got this one friend, like, you have these friends who are, like, they're dumber than they are bigoted. <laughs> right? Like, I got this one friend, he doesn't have a homophobic bone in his body. But like he has a GED and it's a real problem. It's a real problem. Like I remember 15 years ago, he said something so crazy to me. I was like, he probably shouldn't go to work on Monday. It's like 15 years ago, it was like a hot 95 degree day. Him and his boy come over. They're like, yo, Smitty, hot as fuck outside. We gotta get his ice cream. We need you. It's like, you need me? How much ice cream we get where it's a three-man operation? You know I mean? Right? And he looks at me in my human face and he says, Yo, son, we need you, because if three dudes get ice cream together, it ain't gets. <laughs> <laughs> but if two dudes get ice cream together, that shit's gay. <laughs> <laughs> two 
To which I replied, that's not how ice cream works. <laughs> like, ice cream's not gay, you just grew up without a father. Like, that's the whole thing. <laughs> ice cream is weird, right? So eventually working for 20 minutes, ice cream's not gay or not. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'll get ice cream. I'll just do it, right? So now I'm sitting in the back seat of the car, and I'm like, What's my role <laughs> Right? I'm the newest member of the We Ain't Gay, But We Like Desserts of Avengers. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Is it stop them from giving each other road head on the way? They're like, no. <laughs> I know. You should turn to Focus. Focus on the ice cream. Straight, remember? So we pulled up this true story. We pulled up the friendlies. Completely true story. As soon as we walk in, we see not one. Not two, but three of the gayest dudes we went to high school. <laughs> All gay. I look at my boy like <laughs> six dicks, six scoops. Let's have a party! Guys, let me ask you a dope fucking crowd. Oh man, guys, your next comment is very fucking funny. He plays all over. He's club favorite. Put your hands together. For